All right, now I'm going to work on getting the uh, oil pump back on. Um, let's see where it's, it's it's just a good thing to when you're doing this, putting it back on. Even you know, even though they are there's a little bit of stuff on there, but even though they are pretty oily, go ahead and just get some oil on them anyway, so they go down nice and nice and well and never put uh, that that silver um, I can't remember the name of it I'll find out ah uh, anyways um the gear on this it doesn't matter where you put it in it's um, not important now according to the manual there is a aluminum uh, like a shim that goes between the pump and um, the block underneath of it and that I, I've I've used I've had to deal with those before. They are basically um, thinner than paper. We're talking maybe a thousandth of thousandth um, shim. And when I took this off, it didn't have one on. So I'm just going to go with the fact that it probably doesn't need to have that on just because uh, oh, that's interesting oh wait no there it is just because um, it's so thin doesn't I, I really don't think I need to uh, worry about that get this one down This is a 19 millimeter. Um, I've put a three quarters and both both three quarters and a 19 on here. They're both just a hair loose. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, good. Uh, and I will be back later to get the rest of this connected, and I'm gonna check the manual. I don't know if there's, I don't know if you need. I know you have to have, because if you remember the pictures, I sealed this up um, because it was, oil was coming out, you know, I don't think it was sealed up from the beginning, so oil, air or whatever else was see, coming out of there, or being able to get in and get out, so it what, didn't have a good pump on it, but I don't know if you need if a uh, thread lock is required on here and I don't think even if I put if I put a thread lock on here I don't think it matters but I think it would be better but I'm going to check the manual and find out if a thread lock is required for that so until then uh, that's it for now so new day you see I got a little bit of paint on there uh, got to cover it up and stuff it's still sticky probably because the cold hasn't dried very well but 
Mm. Eh, like I said, I'm not going for a full off, you know, top top to bottom restoration. However, a little bit of paint on this uh, gonna make it look pretty good, look better. So I'm getting the uh, oil pump back together, and what surprised me when I got this apart was just uh, how clean and clear it was. So, yeah. That, and I'll set you down for that. <clears throat> to show everyone is make sure that that's pointed out that points out to the block where it screws in at and then this down here the hole for the small screw that screws into it and that's a new uh, cotter pin the old one just kind of fell apart <laughs> um, but it would have held again, held for longer if it, if I wouldn't have messed with it. But yeah, that's all that needs it to keep it from going anywhere. Alright, so I'm getting ready to put this back on and put the oil pump back on and uh, I don't even know. I'm using Blue Monster thread lock. And I don't even know if this is all brass. I, I, I'm sure this doesn't need it. It looks like a compression fitting. But just in case, you never know. I mean, get that off of there. I mean, what's it going to hurt, honestly? It's going to make the, make the connection tighter. Get that up around there. Sticky. Paint is still sticky. <laughs> I added some light to this. Kind of hard to see down there. And there's no light out here yet. This is not lining up yet, so just gonna have to keep going at this. And so battery keep kept dying on me. So uh, I got this. I got the brass nut on here tightened down pretty well. Now I got to get the bolt on this with some. Uh, with some thread lock on it. Like I said, not required. Although it's just a good practice. By the way, there's a washer on the bottom of this, so just be careful when you're putting this in. Small bolt, you don't have to tighten, you don't have to wrench the pin down. Alright, so that's in. This is back together, it's not coming out, this is holding that in. Alright. Okay. 
keep it from turning a whole lot. Maybe not. But let's see. There. I can only go that far. in good. This has a new uh, cotter pin on it. Um, it's all sealed up. Nuts on here holding that in. Now I am going to be rewiring all this back up. Uh, like I said, not probably not required. But you know, that's the way they had it. So I'm just one of those people who like to keep, like you said, like I said before, do it the way they did it before. So, all right. So what I think I'm going to do, even though I don't want to, I'm not going to keep this on. Is I'm going to go ahead and torque this front bearing and get that out of the way. Front bearing down. And then take the oil pump back off just to get the bottom uh, part of the bearing torqued in. And the other thing about this too is that there's supposed to be like a fraction of an inch, frac well, not fraction, just a, a less than paper thin um, aluminum. Uh, gasket between this between the pump and the bottom part um, when I took this off it didn't have one so and I talked with the pair guy and he said you know it's probably not if, if it's so so fine and so small it's probably not gonna make much of a difference anyways and I also remembered that um, he is the one who told me how to put the rope gasket in. So, like I said, the man is like a fountain of knowledge. I mean, he just knows everything and more than I do. Come on. Now, take it 
back off. Yeah, because it's just going to make it a lot easier trying to tap that um, gear on after. Ah, dang it. After. I get uh, what I need for the thrust washer and um, the thrust plate. Also, I was incorrect before in saying the brass fittings, those were the thrust washer. They um, do not uh, they're not part of, um, taking up the end play. What's used for taking up the end play is very thin aluminum crankshaft shims. They have their own keyway in them as well. And they go between the thrust plate and the thrust, um, front thrust washer. And uh, they're what usually take usually they use for the end play when I didn't when before they had the flanges on the bearings. So okay, so at least that's cranked down.